Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we're talking about a brand new product this morning for our series of Tutorial Tuesdays here. Uh, and we're really excited. I know Lee and I are both huge fans of our brand Fix, one of our exclusive brands. And this is the solution oriented line. And so we chatted a few weeks ago about our new intent intensive moisture mask. So hopefully mm -hmm. you've all had a chance to try that. Um, but I did wanna take some time and introduce you to this no frizz hair serum. And Lee's gonna go a little more in depth on some of the ingredients with uh, her decades of experience as a master cosmetologist and a hairstylist and all things beauty. So always good to learn from her. And then we'll kind of just wrap it up talking about how we use it, what our favorite, um, ways of incorporating it into our daily routine are. So with this um, new no frizz hair serum, you can experience the power to transform frizzy, dry and brittle hair. Uh, this formula is infused with macadamia, argon and other luxurious oils. It's super lightweight, so it's not gonna weigh your hair down, but it's gonna certainly give you that benefit um, of a luminous shine for a stunning, healthy looking finish. Um, it is super affordable, as you can see, so $20 retail for two ounces, um, less is more, as we say, with most of our products, right? So uh, just some kind of benefits before we get into some of the ingredients. We are going to talk about those fruit and seed oils in a minute. Um, but in addition to really fighting frizz, it's going to help condition and hydrate your hair as well. So um, you're also going to feel like it just gives your hair more shine and brilliance um, and improve manageability so that, you know, you can put this in wet or dry and we'll talk about that so you can get that silky smooth feel. Um, and without weighing your hair down, you can still have that volume, but not have all of that crazy um, frizz. And I think Lee's actually even going to use it real time for you guys. So it is a lightweight, non-greasy formula. It's safe for all hair types and textures. So again, it's one of those products that you definitely want to just try for yourself. Everyone's going to uh, find a different way that they prefer to use it in their um, daily routine. But the formula is paraben-free, vegan, gluten-free, sulfate-free, and cruelty-free. So I love that these new launches are really in alignment with where a lot of people want to um, be as far as a consumer that's being mindful of the environment and long-term sustainability. Absolutely. And the argon oil. So I don't know if you guys remember, but we actually used to have a product called No Frizz. And that also had the argon oil in. Now this is an upgrade to that formula. So if you loved that formula, the No Frizz argon oil, you are going to love the No Frizz hair serum. Um, I will also tell you it's in a shorter kind of a uh, <laughs> little thicker packaging too. So it doesn't tip over as much when I've got it on my vanity, which I like, but let's kind of dig into argon oil. And it is derived from the seeds of the fruit of the argon tree, which is actually found in Morocco. And obtaining these seeds is a difficult process, which involves breaking the shells, toasting the seeds, therefore making argon oil one of the rarest in the world due to the small supply and limited growing area. So it's just found in that region. It's highly valued for its nutritive, uh, nutritive properties, which makes it a valued ingredient for shampoo. We actually do have a shampoo product as well with argon oil, as well as a conditioner. So this does pair really well with that as well. And it's exceptionally rich in natural tocopherols, which is vitamin E, phenols, and phenolic acid carotenes, squalene, and essential fatty acids, all contributing to its high antioxidant value. And these components really replenish nutrients to the hair while strengthening hair and restoring shine and softness. So any of you with longer hair that maybe deals with some dry ends, maybe you have some split ends and you're trying to keep your hair healthy, the hair on the ends has been there a long time and it's exposed to a lot of our abuse with heat as well as different things in the environment. So it's really important to have something with, you know, a high antioxidant value, as well as some of the moisturizing benefits that argon oil has. Now, argon oil, also what's really great about it is it doesn't get 
really greasy on the hair. So the problem with a lot of hair oils out there is you got to be really careful with how much you use, because if you use too much, you kind of have to start over because it's just too greasy and it won't style. This one's a lot less forget, you know, it's, it's more forgiving than that. So can you use too much? Yes, but it would take a lot to really, you know, notice that. Now it also has the sunflower seed oil in which, um, oh, and the mac macadamia oil. We can go back to that slide there. And that is the golden yellow oil coming from the macadamia nut, a native Australian nut similar to other plant oils. It's loaded with emollient and nourishing fatty acids as well. So that's a great ingredient to have in there. Now, sunflower seed oil also has oleic acid, which can stop hair breakage and make it seem like hair is growing faster since the ends aren't breaking off because we will see a lot of like breakage. I don't know if you guys, when you brush your hair, if you have a lot of hair coming off that doesn't have, you know, a little thing at the end, it's probably breakage. If you've got a lot of like little hairs, it could be breakage depending on what you're doing to your hair. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which may help calm dandruff and relieve an itchy scalp. Now, where I live, we're going into the cooler season where the heat is pumping a little bit more and you may start getting a dry, itchy scalp. And so, you know, using things like this to keep your scalp in good health and good condition is also going to help with some of that dry skin that's coming off and that itchiness that, that can come with it. And, you know, people say that their hair actually feels more hydrated after using sunflower oil, and it may help hair hold onto its moisture. So it won't evaporate from the hair and using oil can um, on the hair can help smooth split ends and make your hair softer and easier to manage. Now, what about olive root oil? Now, it's better known um, as olive and is another one of those ingredients which will make your hair say thank you because it's rich in antioxidants, vitamin E and K, omega-3 and omega-6, and it helps protect hair against or protect against dry, dull and frizzy hair, making it soft and smooth. So if you are one that tends to get a little frizzy, especially if you're in humid climates or like today it's raining out, you know, any kind of moisture, your hair, hair will grab onto and get into a frizzy state. It's great that olive oil fruit oil is in there. And then we have jojoba seed oil and that can also moisturize the scalp and maybe a dandruff re remedy. So jojoba is rich in vitamins and minerals that nourish the hair, including vitamin C, B, E, copper, and zinc. So because it strengthens the hair, it's also thought that jojoba oil can prevent hair loss and promote hair thickness. And that makes sense, right? Because if we keep our hair healthy and strong, we won't lose too much of it. Now, how do you use it? So I'm going to tell you the first thing you have to do is there is a little plastic wrapper over the cap. It's really hard to see. So you may not see that it is there and you may have a hard time getting the cap off. So the first thing to do is take that little plastic off. And what I love about it is it has a little pump on the end as well. So if you keep it, you know, standing upright like this, all the oil will be at the bottom. And when you pump it out, it will come, come out very easily. Now, how do you use it? You work a dime sized amount through damp hair. So yes, this can be used on damp hair. I actually like to cocktail it with, you know, my styling products, like any kind of styling cream or styling gel that you have, you can actually cocktail it, mix it in your hand a little bit and they work really good together. Now, why do you want to put it in when your hair is damp? Because it will actually protect your hair from heat, from blow drying, from flat irons, from curling irons, from whatever kind of thing you're going to do to your hair, it will protect it. Now you want to start kind of from the ends and put majority of it there and kind of work your way up. You don't want to saturate the roots of the hair, but it's okay if you get it on the scalp because remember it's very moisturizing to your scalp and very healthy for your scalp. And then you can style as usual. Now you might want to play around with how much is good for your hair type. Maybe a dime would be too much if you have shorter hair and your hair is a little bit thinner. 
So less is more. You can always add a little bit more if you feel like you need it. And you'll get used to how much is right for you and your hair type and your lifestyle and what you're doing. Now for frizzy hair, you can actually apply as needed throughout the day and help tame flyaways and add extra shine. So what I like to do is I, I like to dry my hair and I actually put it in with my styling product. I did dry my hair and then I used my iron a little bit. And then what I like to do is I just like to put a little bit and you can see it, it's, it's actually kind of a little bit runny as well. So it kind of disperses in the hair really well and put it on your fingertips. And then you can just go ahead and work it through your hair. Now I do have a little bit more of a frizzier sort of coarse hair type. So this oil, I mean, I travel with it. I would put it in my hair throughout the day if I feel like I'm getting a little frizzy, even if it's in the winter and you're getting some like static, you know, hair, hair going on and, and it's kind of, you know, getting out of control. And it just adds that wonderful shine to the hair. Oh my gosh. And it smells absolutely amazing. I so mean, you it, can see a difference immediately. Yeah, I know. It's kind of probably hard to see because it's a smaller sort of um, video, but it is. And I kind of like, sometimes I'll even put my head outside on kind of shake out my curls a little bit. So it just kind of depends on what look I actually use this on. I do a lot of um, hairstyling for photo shoots. This is that product that I put in everybody's hair. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, your gender, your age, you know, whatnot. I, I use this. In fact, my photographers have it on hand for when I leave and I'm not there anymore. Now, is this product suitable for curly hair? Absolutely. So it is a lightweight approach to taming that frizz and making curls shine without weighing them down. It's going to define them, uh, make them look a little bit healthier as well, because sometimes curly hair can tend to look a little bit dull. So we want to add that sheen to it. We want to add that shine to it. So it is absolutely perfect for curly hair. What does it smell like? Well, it's infused with all of those fruit and seed oils that I just talked about, and it has a luxurious scent. I wouldn't say it's strong at all, it's just sort of a nice, clean scent. Um, and if you use a no frizz before, it is a little bit runnier as well. So you're going to kind of notice that. But I feel like it goes a little bit farther as well as, as the one that we used to have. Now, can you apply it to dry hair? Absolutely. And like I said, you can apply it throughout the day when you just need to kind of freshen up your dry ends or add a little bit of shine or, you know, help with frizz. Can you use it on color treated hair? Absolutely. So it is meant to improve hair texture, shine, and brilliance, and is perfect for all hair types, especially if you're getting a high lift color or bleaching done. You know, those tend to dry our hair out a little bit more. So we definitely want to use a product that's going to help keep that moisture in. This pairs so well with our new, you know, uh, hair mask. I mean, it. I've been using that hair mask and I'm just like, every time I use it, I'm like, oh my gosh, my hair feels absolutely wonderful. And so this complements it absolutely so well. Can you use it every day? Yes, it's gentle enough and it won't build up on the hair. It does wash out very easily. So you won't kind of feel that if you've ever used oils before where it, you wash your hair and it, it almost feels like they're not washing out. This will wash out very easily. And Lisa already covered that it is not uh, tested on animals on any finished product as well. So that, you know, that's important to a lot of you watching as well. Yeah. So if anyone has, I know it's a brand new product, but if you've had a chance to try it, go ahead and pop something in the comments. Let us know how you're loving it. Um, I literally order like a couple at a time because I have, well, I have two daughters also that have long hair. So <laughs> there's three of us using it, but um, it is handy. Like I actually keep one in my car. I have one in my purse. One's in my gym bag. One's in my bathroom. Um, because like Lee was covering, you can use it in so many different ways throughout the day, right? Depending on what the weather is, if you need to reapply a little bit. Um, 
but I think that even you have a lot in here and you saw how just like a few pumps and it dispersed really evenly, but it wasn't a lot of product considering, you know, how much hair that you have. So I think you'll all find that it's a great value for sure. Um, and I do also love I love the texture and the scent. And, you know, you'll find that with really all of our products where whatever scent they have, it's really from the natural ingredients. We're always really proud of our formulas. And we like to talk to you about the ingredients that we have. So you get to learn more about what you can expect as far as results go. Um, so we want to lean into, you know, ingredients that work, but also that's going to give a lot of the products a nice natural fragrance and you're not going to have a sensitivity to the added perfumes and things. Now, like that. I would also suspect that it probably helps you comb through the girl's hair as well when you put yes. it that's a great point. Yeah. So with them, I do love putting it on damp hair, especially my youngest is seven Haley. So, you know, my 13 year old does her own hair at this point, but um, when we're combing through, I love that hair mask that you talked about a few weeks ago. Um, so I'll definitely use that when she's in the tub. And then I do put this serum in for hair that's damp when she's out and then just brush it from the bottom up. And that's how kind of I, I apply it from the bottom up as well, like you had mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, and then for myself, I usually put it more on when my hair is getting drier. I love, we have a structure gel that I love to put in my hair wet and then I'll comb that through and then blow dry it a little bit. And so then as my hair is drying, you had mentioned earlier, curly hair can tend to like look a little more dry, maybe even like brittle at times. Um, so I like to just kind of smooth that in at the end, because unlike maybe some other styling products that can weigh your hair down and, and all, also make it look um, greasy at times, like this is really nice and lightweight. So um, that's a good point on what you were saying earlier. Everyone's going to find a different way to use it mm -hmm. um, as it works for their hair type and texture. Um, and you may use it both. You may use it when it's wet and dry, right? Yeah. And I, I really do recommend if you're using any type of heat on your hair, you need to use something to protect it because the irons will pull all the moisture and evaporate right out of your hair. So you definitely want something that's going to sort of protect it. Um, this will kind of evaporate off your hair before then the moisture will come out of your hair, which is, is what's going to dry it out even a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, I will, I will also say that most of you are probably using a little bit too high of heat on your hair as well. Most mm -hmm. people are, are turning their irons up a little bit more than they should. Okay. Um, so it's, it's really important to use, use and this product is great because of that heat protectant and all the, all the different ingredients in that are going to help nourish your hair as well. Yeah. So we'll hang out for another uh, few seconds here. If anyone has any questions, I've been keeping an eye on the chat though. And, um, you know, we're just really excited. It's it's nice that we get to talk about these products with you all. Um, but for sure, we have a, a large team of individuals at our corporate company that work, you know, to bring these formulas to fruition for us. And so we're certainly grateful for that. And I think that they did a really incredible job with not only upgrading this formula, but like you were saying, I actually love the packaging and how it does stand up the old bottle. It didn't, you know, which isn't the end of the world, throw it in a drawer or whatever, but um, <laughs> this just looks nice. It's sleek. It's more of a matte black on the package versus the older, shinier one. So um, I hope that you all use the product, love the product. Um, I, I guess we should put a I have a link in my notepad to share in the comments. So I'll post that in the comments, but um, you know, you can just even type it in on shop.com. And certainly if you're a customer that's watching, you know, reach out to your consultant that can help you out as far as getting the product for you, or you can purchase it right online. So have a great day, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye everyone.